I'm Dr. Sanjay Sahil, doing my homeopathy since 1977. And this is the second series we are doing. And first we just introduced the public and seekers of homeopathy that why they should to be a homeopath. And now this is for beginners who want to know about this unique way of Dr. Sagal's method. We had many methods in which homeopathy is practiced. And every one is unique in its own way. Dr. Sagal needed to find this. And there was a necessity for this. When he was finding that new comer, a new homeopath was finding it very difficult to work with. With so much of information, to be precise, accurate, and according to the laws of homeopathy. Some people never had that much of time as established Star Wars have. They have a number of patients sometimes and they don't, in the beginning they don't have patients. So how to practice homeopathy according to the laws of Honeyman as he let down and cutting short the huge task which was in his time a long case taking to be more precise Dr. Segal then found out that in certain cases, even after devoting three to four hours or maybe sometimes a day of case taking wasn't sufficient to reach to the right medicine and failures were there. So he thought what is missing and how we can be more accurate and proper and what is that. So during certain cases in the beginning with malaria, he found it out that the state during that state helped him to come out easily from those cases which were actually not responding to the normal, usual way of the practice. And then it became his journey and he found it out and made it a universal way that even if you are treating a chronic or acute or any state, you will be held by this present state of affairs. So there he originated with his own idea, modifying that present persisting and predominating state of a man. Because we treat the man, this all you agree. Every homeopath knows that we treat the man, not the diseases. This is how we are taught. And that was what the new invention of Honeyman was, that he focused on what is most important in the treatment of diseases. So reached to reach the man, he found that mental symptoms, the mental state during the sickness is the most important part. And Dr. Segal started exploring there. And these are unused informations were lying. The repertory was full of informations which were never actually used to their potential. That was the fortress of Dr. Segal. And he gave us a way to explore these basic ideas which was just lying unused People fail to understand the depth of repertory in the mental state of a patient. Simply a person asks, doctor, oh, I have something and I'm really worried. Should I go for a check? What it is? I'm really worried. It is something very strange. So generally we feel and we just console the patient and used to send him back. The doctor said, gave it a thought what this patient is talking about. Why he's so worried? He heard somebody and he just rushes to you, can I also go for a checkup because somebody died of a heart and he had a heart attack. Doctor, I never worried earlier, but now I feel I should go for a checkup. So this is how this normal language of a patient which makes him rush to the doctor. So what brings the patient to your clinic with these anxieties and worries, Dr. Steinle started decoding these informations from the common language of the patient. So what he says and how he says and what he does and how he does. Any person who comes to your clinic will say something in his own way. This is a unique style that is personal to him. This is very useful. And this helped to develop this whole method. We started in late in late 70s by 80, 1983. A proper school was formed. And since then, 
we are following these guidelines given by Dr. Segal and many people all over the world got success through this. That had been spread to Germany, England, Czech, Slovakia, Turkey, Malaysia, many people, many parts, even we don't know. It was a surprise to us to find people using this method, even in Bangladesh, we, and there are other remote areas where we couldn't sometime reach. It was really appreciable of these encouragers who tried to use this information, and this is for your use also as a beginner, that how to cut down your case-taking part, which takes length of a time, but with the simple versions, a simple information which patient voluntarily gives most of the time in his you know, unknown naiveness is his common language. So the most important part is to use the common version of a patient with what he says and how he says. So for that example, he will be saying anxiety in the dark, light desire for he wants. So what is light? He wanted to know what is wrong in his abdomen why he has such a sudden pain which he is unaware of and suddenly this has triggered in him this fear or anxiety for which he rushes to you. It was never ever with him and with this he develops a lot many things and once somebody he gets the assurance oh this is nothing wrong is it alright two and three times he asks and you assure him and he's fine. And that gives you a simple direction toward, you know, talks about his desire to talk to someone, light desire for, and easily assured. And he falls back, all right, doctor told me this is nothing. So maybe even next time needed, I'll go for a check. This could be you the right, simple remedy like phosphorus with just few lines. So this is in a shot we can tell you about. If you focus on present, persisting, predominant state, the three P's, <clears throat> and what he says, the key is what he says and how he says. This will differ from one patient to another, even if they are saying the same words. That differential, you have to learn that how many people, there are many remedies which you will find in the rubric like light desire for. And every remedy has his own way of asking for light and he has his own anxieties and worries and they will be satisfied with their own set of information which they will be feeling good. Somebody will go in details and look into the internet, start searching what it is, how it is, he is curious and is it, it, it will be operation or it will be done by something else. So it could be just calcarea carb which is so curious that he wants to tell, he wants, Dr. I'll first want to know what it is. No, all right, you'll treat me, but tell me what it is. So he'll insist upon. Just insistence and persistently asking you what it is, how it is, he will not be just satisfied with that. So this could be just delirium, light, desire for, calcarea is a drug. So this is in short, a small information I can give you. You can search further on this. We have school running in different parts of the India as well as in the world. And we have clinics where people can have an access. Thank you very much.